Hey guys, Ronan here. One of the most common questions that I get asked in this channel is whether or not it's worth to get into trucking. With self-driving trucks on the horizon, seemingly about to take over the industry at any moment. Even with the introduction of e-logs and regulations, the trucking industry has been relatively unchanged by the effects of globalization and technology. However, there is a common fear that if you enter the industry right now, your career will be cut short by the incoming wave of automation. Is it worth becoming a trucker today? Will self-driving trucks take your job over the next 5, 10, or 20 years? We have compiled all the facts and data to help you make your decision on whether or not you want to get into trucking. So first let's get into what is self-driving cars? What is level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 5 of autonomous driving? So let's get started. Level 0, no automation. Where the human driver steers, brakes, accelerates, and navigates through traffic. Level 1 automation adds driver assistance which controls either the steering or vehicle speed. One example being adaptive cruise control. Level 2 automation is partial automation. The vehicle can steer, accelerate, and brake at the same time, but is only meant to assist the driver. Level 3 automation is conditional automation, which means that it can manage most aspects of driving, but only in the right circumstances. But because there are scenarios it can't navigate, the driver must be alert and ready to take over at all times. This is the highest level we can achieve right now. Level 4 automation is the level that is being researched right now, which is called high automation. There is no longer any human oversight or control needed to ensure the vehicle's operation. However, a driver will still need to be in the car to ensure that the vehicle still functions under select conditions such as bad weather or complicated traffic conditions. An example could be that the driver will have to drive the truck from a yard to a major road and the truck navigates itself on the major road and highways while the driver takes back control after the truck exits a major road. Level 5 automation is when trucks become fully autonomous and self-driving, meaning that there is no driver needed inside the vehicle and there is no steering wheel or braking inside the vehicle. This is a true self-driving truck. Two interesting things here. Firstly, we still have two levels to go before we're able to achieve a level of full automation. Secondly, there are features in the trucks and vehicles today that are already partially self-driving, such as adaptive cruise control and lane centering. More on the first point. We are currently only at level 3 driving automation, with several companies currently experimenting with level 4 vehicles on the road, one notable being robo-taxis, autonomous driving taxis. However, even just a few years ago, many people optimistically believed that these taxis would be everywhere by 2020. Yet, there are still nowhere to be seen. It turns out that the last 10% of developing of self-driving vehicles is much harder than initially believed and will still take years to achieve. While there is still a lot of debate over when the level 5 truly self-driving cars will emerge, experts estimate that we are decades away. Hey guys, Ronan here. I wanted to personally thank you for watching this video. I've been recruiting drivers for about 15 years now, and I've heard hundreds and hundreds of stories of how drivers are getting mistreated by their current employers and how they're being taken advantage of by our current industry providers. So I wanted to create a channel in order to unite North American drivers, share my knowledge, educate drivers to become more successful, and hopefully one day to make a positive impact on our industry. Some concerns that I have in our industry revolve around how drivers are being mistreated by their current employers, safety on the road, parking for drivers, and driver compensation. When we unite, we can make a difference. This video and this channel is not meant for recruiting purposes. As me and my team continue to produce high quality and interesting videos, I do need your support in order to make a difference in this North American market. Please subscribe to our channel. And if you're enjoying the video you're watching, give it a thumbs up. And now back to the video. So how are self-driving semis different from cars? To begin, we have to understand that autonomous semi trucks have more obstacles to overcome than regular vehicles. The reason are as follows. Number one, trucks are much larger and lack the ability of maneuver, less ability to navigate around danger and take longer to slow down. 
Number two, if the sensor is on top of the cab, there's issues with it being blinded by the sun. Number three, a semi-truck with a trailer is much larger than a car and would require more complex programming. In cities with frequent stops and tight turns, this would be a problem. Who are the major players behind self-driving truck development? There are several companies that are developing and experimenting with level four autonomous trucks, including Daimler, Waymo, Tesla, Embark, and Too Simple. So what is the timeline for self-driving trucks? According to experts, level four autonomous semi-trucks might be invented as early as the next decade, even earlier than level four cars, because semi-trucks spend most of their time on the highway, and it's much easier to program a vehicle to drive on a highway compared to Manhattan. So now the million dollar question, if these self-driving trucks are coming around in 2030, should we be worried about losing our job? Remember that even if self-driving level four autonomous semi-trucks are invented tomorrow, a driver is still required to be in the cab to take over in case of emergency and unfavorable conditions. In fact, the developers of semi-trucks fully intend having truck drivers be in a cab at all time. There are way too many things that can go wrong without the supervision of a driver, especially navigating around yards and loading and unloading. And just imagine all the test things and regulations needed before technology like this can even be implemented and accepted by the public. A good comparison is to think of the truck driver in the future being more like an airplane pilot. While airplanes are able to navigate automatically, the public will feel much safer with a skilled driver behind the wheel and with a takeoff and landing manually controlled. So in conclusion, while level four autonomous trucks that still require driver may be close, those level five fully autonomous semi-trucks are a long ways off. The main benefits of level four self-driving trucks are to increase the truck's fuel efficiency, productivity, costs, and reduce traffic on the highways. All these benefits can still easily coexist with the driver who's in the cab. The job of the truck driver while still exists for decades to come. The important question to ask are how will this technology affect the lives of truck drivers driving them? How will it affect wages, the hours of service, licensing, requirements? Will the effect be good or bad? So if you're thinking of getting your license today, I'm of the opinion that yes, go for it. There's no way that self-driving cars are gonna be happening anytime soon. Again, like I said in the video, I really feel that the self-driving trucks are going to start off from hub to hub, somewhere along interstate lines. So for example, if you're in Canada, let's take highway the 401. I really think they're gonna start off with a hub, let's say in Sarnia, that it's gonna continue along the 401. So the self-driving trucks, I don't think are gonna be going into the city centers. They're only gonna be along the interstate highways from hub to hub, but you still need a truck driver to take it from that hub to the end user. I think that these hubs are long's way out. I don't think we're anywhere near it and I don't think we're gonna see it in the next 10 and even 15 years. So I do see it going from hub to hub and what the drivers are gonna be doing while we're going from hub to hub is they're still gonna be in the cabs to begin with and then they will eliminate that. But I really think that the drivers are still gonna be working locally. I think that long haul trucking will get faded out with autonomous trucking, but again, we're a long way out, but the need for truck drivers are always gonna be there. Just look around, everything, this desk, this computer, this laptop, my cell phone, everything came in a truck. So even though they might bring it from a hub to a hub with autonomous driving, but from that hub to the end user, to the consumers, to the stores, to the distribution centers, they are not going to be autonomous. It's all gonna be done through truck drivers. So guys, in this video, I really wanna know what you think about autonomous driving. Again, this is just my prediction and my script that I put together. I really wanna know, what do you guys think? Does anybody have any inside information on autonomous driving that we don't know about that you maybe wanna share with us? Leave us a comment below, let us know what you think. Are, am I way off by talking about these hubs? Do you actually think that autonomous driving is going to eliminate the truck driver market? Well, there you have it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell.